My name is Dr. Naveed Akhtar from the Integrative Health Convention. I'd like to introduce you to Anthony Jacquin, who is a hypnotist from the UK and has been providing hypnotherapy services for over 20 years, as well as teaching people how to hypnotize in courses all around the world. He is the author of the best-selling book, Reality is Plastic, The Art of Impromptu Hypnosis. And along with his father, Freddie Jacquin, is the director of the Jacquin Hypnosis Academy. Anthony believes the skills of the hypnotist should be available to all and that self-hypnosis should be part of all of our lives. I hope you'll enjoy this short video where Anthony talks about his career as a hypnotist and about his presentation at the Integrative Health Convention where he'll be sharing with us the importance of self-hypnosis and his seven steps to self-hypnosis which is a simple protocol that you can utilize immediately and engage in any time and anywhere. A technique which he has successfully taught to hundreds of his students. With these skills, you will learn how to hypnotize yourself, how to let go of stress, fear, and negative thoughts, and learn how to change your state and perform better. 11th of February, 2022. We hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us, Anthony, on, on this journey for the Integrative Health Convention uh, 2022, which we're going to be broadcasting live um, on the 11th of February. Uh, and thanks so much for agreeing to speak uh, at the convention. My pleasure. I'm fascinated to uh, see the lineup you've got there and get be part of it. Um, so our viewers want to know, um, tell us about Anthony Jacquin and what got you into hypnosis. Well, I was at university in the mid nineties and my father, well, I think, you know, Freddie Jacquin got into hypnosis. He was so excited about it that um, he encouraged me to do the same. So I had a go. I hypnotized someone at university. It was all therapeutic. It was all good. Um, I was one of the lucky ones in that my first session was successful. They quit smoking. I was hooked never put the subject down, did some other training and eventually went full-time as a therapist in 2001. I think hypnosis might have been in fashion at the time because I got busy straight away. And I've seen about 5,000 clients in that regard since then. I also, um, some years after you know, getting into therapy, looked at other aspects of hypnosis, um, performance hypnosis and now I mostly teach people hypnotherapy alongside my father yeah. so uh, uh, I know your dad Freddie Jackman very well we've worked together um, for a number of years now uh, with uh, at the College of Medicine uh, amongst a few other things and um, in my journey getting to you know learning hypnosis and NLP I can say that you know both you and Freddie have been kind of vital in my journey, learning learning these topics, you know, with some of the courses that you run and, and the books. And you, you've uh, published a book a few years back on uh, Reality is Plastic. Tell us a I little did, bit about that. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, there were lots of books on therapy, not so many on performance hypnosis. But I wrote a book about impromptu hypnosis, kind of meaning anytime, anywhere. Um, not that you have to be doing this on a, on a street corner but there are a lot of people who have an interest in the subject uh, would even therapists who would like to give a demonstration who would like to show something and um, my book's about that it's about how to give a successful demonstration in pretty much any context and it's only a short book but it proved very popular amongst you know all, all sorts of groups of people, performers, but also therapists who wanted to um, sharpen up their hypnosis game and give suggestions other than, you know, just good suggestions to relax. They wanted to do some other things. So, yeah, that's it's still quite popular. And you know, since then, my dad and I have released all sorts of products generally geared toward therapists, pain relief techniques, um, his quit smoking protocol 
you know, and yeah, we've um, created a platform to help people learn this stuff online. So you don't have to be in a classroom with us anymore. And I've got to say, I'm loving that. Um, I, I don't see Zoom as a second best. I don't even have a therapy office anymore. I do pretty much all of my work like this and the majority of our training like this as well. So it's really opened up the opportunities for hypnotherapists in that suddenly you're not limited by your location. Everyone can have a global practice. If you're lucky enough to speak more than one language, then you can really kind of reach out. So it's a good time to be a hypnotherapist, I think. Absolutely. I think, uh, well, the time that we've been through in the last couple of years really has made us change the way we, we practice and work. And um, it really has opened our eyes to technology and how we can use it better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Anthony, you're going to be speaking at the Integrative Health Convention, which we're broadcasting live on the 11th of February 2022. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about what you're going to be sharing with us on that day and what they're going to uh, hopefully take away from your uh, from your talk? Yeah, certainly I will. I want to encourage more people to use self-hypnosis. Um, believe it or not, there are many hypnotherapists, and I was one of them for many years, who, who don't turn the tools upon themselves often enough. They only really work you know, with others. And I, I think that was a mistake. That was an oversight on my part. I'm very passionate about utilizing self-hypnosis in every walk of life. Um, it can be engaged in instantly you don't need to be sat in a chair with your eyes closed you could do this walk into a meeting or whatever else you might be doing so i'm going to be sharing seven steps to self-hypnosis essentially a protocol that you would be able to engage in after watching my presentation it will take you from knowing nothing about it to knowing enough that you can begin right there right then um, it's a presentation I've shared a couple of times uh, with different groups. It's always gone down very well. It's practical and it's a skill. I mean, that's really one of the key things to understand about responding to hypnosis is it's not just a trait. It's not just a case of whether you are a good subject or not. It's a skill. And some people are naturally skilled, just like some people can sing. And some people need a bit of coaching in that regard. But we can all benefit from learning self-hypnosis. Our problems are often made of self-hypnosis. We just don't realize it. So, you know, we can be our own worst hypnotist. I want to show people how they can be their own best hypnotist. Self-hypnosis is definitely uh, a useful tool and having uh, gone through your material before about the seven steps, I can honestly say it's one of the simplest and easiest ways for people to go into a self-hypnotic state and actually make some really interesting changes in, in themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'll, I'll be sharing a variety of ways of giving yourself suggestions, lots of different ways of doing that. And, you know, ultimately... Yes, I'm sharing seven steps, but it's it's one of these things where once you get the basics down and the basics are most of what you need, you can begin to build your own protocol. It's not a formal process where you must go from, you know, step one to step seven, but it's going to be a good starting point. And um, I'm sure there'll be something fresh there, even for people who already engage in this practice. Well, I can say that those people who are even a little bit curious about hypnosis and self-hypnosis, by following the seven steps, they should be able to reach that state in a very quick and very easy way. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that the people who are going to be watching your video uh, and attending your seminar are going to find a huge amount of benefit um, to take away from it. Well, I hope so. That's certainly my intention. That's brilliant. Well, I really appreciate your time um, for this interview. And we shall look forward to seeing you um, at the convention. I can't wait. All the best. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with the latest videos 
and interviews from all the speakers who will be joining us at the online Integrative Health Convention 2022, going live on the 11th of February. Take a look at the exciting speaker lineup by clicking the link below to book your ticket now. Look forward to seeing you there.